the great thing about our show is we've taken a pretty basic premise, which is a bunch of people in a study group together at a community college, and we've sort of exploded the universe. So it's a school at which your Halloween episode can turn into a zombie movie, or you can have uh, an action movie based around a game of paintball, or, you know, we did an homage to Apollo 13 where we went to space, but we were really just in a KFC chicken bus. Do you realize at midnight you are turning 21 as in the legal drinking age? She's a very principled person. She has a lot of definite ideas about how the world should be and how people should behave. This can make her sometimes come across as humorless to the group, but it's been really great to sort of discover the humor in being humorless. So I've found myself the butt of most of the jokes. Abed. The dean says if you don't get help, they might kick you out of school. It wasn't even a childhood dream because I didn't dream that big as a kid that I would be in claymation form. I mean, certainly goes above and beyond any expectations I had when I did the pilot for the show. And it really does feel special to be a part of this long history of stop-motion animated Christmas specials, which so many people have such affection for. And it's you know, a regular part of their Christmas tradition or holiday season, and it's nice to sort of enter the pantheon as a robot. In our first episode back in January, we have Malcolm Jamal Warner of Cosby Show fame guest starring as um, Yvette Nicole Brown's ex-husband, Shirley's ex-husband. Why don't we go someplace fun like Peg Lake Pablo's? They serve virgin mudslides. Those are milkshakes, Shirley. She has been basically asking for this since the day we shot the pilot. So the fact that they actually got him to do it, and he's on the show as her ex-husband is about the biggest coup you could imagine. And LeVar Burton actually just shot a part on one of our shows. We have our Valentine's Day episode coming up. That's always epic at Greendale because our relationships tend to be very messy. Do you think we'll learn about stuff like that in our women's studies class? Hell no. We're going to find our roots in that class and stop defining our gender by theirs. Well, I feel bad saying it, but it will be nice to get away from the boys and take a class with just us. Amen. Or a women. 